Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book, number 293. 293, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to you, O Israel. O come, O wisdom from on high, who ordered all things mightily, to us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to you, O Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this Feast of St. Lucy, we ask her intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Yanko Kasunich and the special intention for Michelle Blay. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are our Emmanuel, a God who walks with us. Christ, have mercy. You are our Messiah and Lord, leading us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr St. Lucy give us new heart, we pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age, and so behold things that are eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. Balaam looked up and saw Israel camping tribe by tribe. Then the Spirit of God came upon him, and he uttered his oracle, saying, The oracle of Balaam, son of Baal, the oracle of the man whose eye is clear, the oracle of one who hears the words of God, who sees the vision of the Almighty, who falls down but with eyes uncovered. How fair are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel, like palm groves that stretch far away, like gardens beside a river, like aloes that the Lord has planted, like cedar trees beside the waters. Water shall flow from his buckets, and his seed shall have abundant water. His king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted." Again, Balaam uttered his oracle, saying, The oracle of Balaam, son of Beor, the oracle of the man whose eye is clear, the oracle of one who hears the word of God and knows the knowledge of the Most High, who sees the vision of the Almighty, who falls down but with his eyes uncovered. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. The word of the Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love. 
for they have been from of old. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things, and who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? And they argued with one another, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd, for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Does Jesus have a sense of humor? Can you not see him smiling in this dialogue? But is Jesus doing it to aggravate the people, or is he doing it to teach them? You know, when we ask ourselves the question, why does Jesus do what he does? Why does he say what he says? Why does he act the way he acts. Jesus doesn't often give a straight answer. In fact, if you look at the scriptures, I believe it's only two or three times in all four Gospels that when Jesus is asked a question, he actually gives an answer. Usually when Jesus is asked a question, he responds with a question because he wants to provoke the person to a deep thinking of what they're asking and who God is and who Jesus is. So here, he's trying to allow the people to really think about what they are saying. And this internal dialogue that they're having in a lose-lose situation, they're being set up by the Lord to show them that their position is inconsistent, that it's actually irrational, But when we actually look at this, does this also not suggest that they are almost acting as a fence-sitter? Do you understand what a fence-sitter is? Would you like this or that? Well, I could have this or I could have that. Can't make a decision. In regards to faith, Jesus is very clear about this. You're either to be hot or cold. If you are lukewarm, I spit you out of my mouth. God is not interested in fence-sitters. You're either Catholic or you're not. You either believe in me or you don't. Or I like to joke, you're either Italian or you're a wannabe. You know, like in other words, there's no fence-sitting. There's no fence-sitting. What color is the sky? Give me an answer. You know, like this is what Jesus is talking about. This is real-life questions. So it's easy for us to judge the people in the gospel today. But when Jesus is asking me, what's my response? Am I on fire in my faith with the Lord? If that's the case, then why, when I come to Mass, do I mumble? 
Why, when I'm at Mass, does my mind go to a hundred other places rather than focusing on glorifying God? That should be my focus. That was the focus for St. Lucy. St. Lucy, no matter what happened in her life, she was focused on holiness. Nothing was going to persuade her from difference. We know her to be a virgin and also a martyr, why the Church wears red. St. Lucy not only is the patron saint of our eyes, so for those of you who, like me, are blessed to have glasses, continue to ask St. Lucy to help us. Those who have good vision, God bless you. Pray to St. Lucy that it remains that way, okay? But St. Lucy recognized her relationship with God and was unwavering in that relationship. And how Holy Mother Church continues to give us so many beautiful examples of men and women who were regular people who made choices that were pleasing to God. So as Jesus asks the question, he's asking the question to you and to me. Do we truly believe Psalm 25? Teach me your ways, O Lord. Make me to know your ways. Teach me your path. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. Lord, help us to not be a fence-sitter in regards to faith, but may we be bold in our relationship with you. Let us now turn to the God of light and hope, placing our prayers and needs before him. Our response is, Come, Lord Jesus. For all who exercise authority in the Church, may they be filled with grace and encouraged by the Holy Spirit, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray for world leaders. May Christ, the sower of truth and justice, dwell in their hearts, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray for those who struggle with despair or grief. May God's healing love bring them hope, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, like Mary, more men and women may say yes to God's call in their lives, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For our faith community here at St. Joseph, may the Holy Spirit grant us the wisdom and courage to respond to God's will for us, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Yonko, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon enjoy eternal life and behold the face of God in heaven, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts, Lord our God, we place our trust in you and ask that you hear our prayers. Please grant them according to your most holy will, through Christ our Lord. St. Lucy, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings we bring in celebration of St. Lucy win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant, Yonko, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Lucy, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on St. Lucy a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Our Advent journey continues. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. O come, O come, great Lord of might, who to your tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times did give the law in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. O come, O rod of Jesse, stem, from every foe deliver them that trust your mighty power to save and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. God bless you. Have a good day.